wrote down a few questions, things that I wanted to ask you. Okay. I don't Should know I that nervous? much about you yet. So I thought we should dive into some, you know, we got to get the dirt. We got to get the down to the nitty gritty. People want to know who you are now. And they want to know how did he get this show? And what's your deal? And just a little bit about your history. So tell, tell me you were adopted as a teenager. I've not seen the film mm -hmm. that, that was, that your story is, mm -hmm. is the film is about your story basically, but you were adopted as a teenager. Yes. As an, as an, practically an adult. How did that come about? How did that? It was. An unusual story. It's not very common, obviously. Yeah. So I, we both grew up in, in Fort Mac. And Fort McMurray? In Fort McMurray, Alberta. Um, and yeah, it was not a, my home life was not a stable home life. It was not a, it was very much you go to church and it's happy families and all of this stuff. But then the second that door closes, it was like the masks would come off and it was abusive and it was not healthy and they didn't like gay people and all of these things. And so I, when I was 16, got a job on a film set in Alberta with Corbin Burnson. Um, and he he was really great. He gave me a job. We kind of we met serendipitously, and one of the first people that he met on that film set was the executive producer named Lisa McGilvery. And over the course of filming, and you know, we were there for like four or five weeks in this little tiny town in the middle of Alberta filming this movie. Um, she knew what was happening. I started telling her some of the things and showing her some of the stuff that had been done. And I'm like, look at were your mom. Were your mom and dad together? Just quickly to interject. Were, were you in a both parent household too at the time? No, you weren't. he left. No. My dad left when I was in grade three. We kind of, we mm, woke up it. in like the middle of the night and he was gone. And then, yeah. Um, and so, so it, yeah, it was, you know, it's weird. Cause I can, I can process trauma really well. Like serious, like if somebody broke into this room right now, guns blazing, like I could process that really well. But I'm, if you steal my parking spot or something minor, that sets me over the edge. So I'm conditioned to handle serious trauma, but a minor inconvenience I cannot take. Um, and well, we I'm bad in both. Of, you, you got me beat. I'm terrible in both those yeah. situations. And it's been tested on me. I've been held up. I've had those things happen. Oh and I'm God. terrible. So, and, but, but anyway... It's a different story. I'd be hiding behind you in the room right now, okay? Just FYI. Oh, yeah, I'd be like, okay, well, why don't you just sit down? We can talk about it. I'm like, if you want to steal stuff, so you don't have to shoot me. You could just take the stuff. Right. You want the rope? Right. Take the rope. Oh, that's... Like... that's interesting. So big stuff. That's that's conditioning probably of your childhood and going through trauma and stuff. That totally. Involved. And so when the movie wrapped, I, I was 16. I had like $3,000 from the month of working on this film. S super score, 16 years old. Wow. <laughs> super yeah. low budget. Um, yeah. And then Lisa said, where are you going? What are you doing? And I'm like, I really don't know. I'm like, I'm going to get in my little cobalt and I guess drive back to Fort McMurray and hope that things are different. And she said, no. She's like, come with us. She's like, we've got resources. We've got room. And it was literally, she took me in. Wow. And so then it was a long... And you were a, stranger, you were a stranger to her at that point until you met on the film, until you met at that time. We had never met before. Oh. And wow. so, and then over the course of a um, year, it was a long, long process. And kind of, there was like, a, I call it the transition period of kind of leaving that old life and, and stepping into this one. And there was a lot of... Um, conflict but with myself because they were actually in Fort McMurray they were not sad to see me go they were and I kind of thought every step of the way even when the adoption happened and there was a court thing and like it, it was a big process I was like okay well this is her opportunity my biological mom I'm like this is her opportunity to fight back you know, almost to... to fight for it and say I don't want this to happen she didn't even show up and the judge just signed off on it so you're killing me. Oh, you're just killing me with the story. This is so tough. My gosh. Do you have